And, you know, like I said, I think they can do better. I think they can do better. I think they can, I think they can hit the $500 million mark. I genuinely do. I, I, th I think they deserve it, guys. I, I don't, I don't want to dance on the grave of a company, except it, I do. I'll say, I'll say it how it is. Sony is wasted over a billion dollars at this point. We thought it was in the hundreds of millions, but considering just Concord costed $400 million, uh, Big Gamble Double Down, yeah, exactly. I think they could hit a billion, guys. I think they could, you know, man, f fast forward five years, Vapen, if they have the same executive staff, the people surrounding freaking Jim Ryan, and I guess this Herman Holtz uh, freaking idiot, uh, or whatever, uh, they they can absolutely hit a billion dollars wasted in, in a single project. I, I sincerely believe in them. Never underestimate. Absolutely. They, it can always get worse. It can always get worse. But we're giving context why 200 million makes any sense whatsoever. Beyond that, this does have repercussions. Not enough, though. Concord Game Director has stepped down as staff Sony owned Firewalk with fate await their fate. Their fate is simple. They're going to be dead. Like, guys, Firewalk is dead. And frankly, considering the problems with the company and everything, I will dance on their grave. They fucking deserve it. I'll just say it. You don't have a $250 million fuck up before the game even comes out when it's an early alpha and not have serious issues with the entire fucking company. I'm sorry. Look, does every dev deserve it? No. I'm not saying every dev deserves it. But at some point, you call a spade a spade, and they in general deserve to be put in the fucking trash. That, it is what it is. I'm sorry. Not every animator deserves it, no. But the general shape of the company, let's say a solid 60% of the company, if 60% of the company deserves to be put in the trash can, it deserves to be in the trash can. I blame decision makers. On some level, Shorolashi, in general, I would agree with you. But keep in mind, this is a toxically positive environment where you are not allowed to say that the character is animated like dog shit. This character is never going to sell a skin because it's fucking fat and it's ugly. You're not allowed to say that. And when you're not allowed to say that, that means the entire company is rotten to the core. That is facts. I have come across companies like this in my work. I consulted for companies like this. Do you know what the answer is anytime you're in a situation where 60% of the company is fucking dog shit? Guys, do you know, do you know how to save that company? You sell the company off. You're like, you know what? You're going to sell it for parts at that point because there's no fixing this shit. Like it's dead. Unless it's like, you know, massive waste. You can still make the product with 40% of the people. But the chances that happens is like snowflakes in hell. That has happened. I've worked on that. I've done that. That is not the general situation of what happens in that situation. I said situation twice, sorry. When 60% of the company is trash, you put the entire thing in the trash can. And, and you sell it for parts, and then you try to create a new company later on that can do the same thing better and not have the issues at its core. Because at that point, the entire fucking thing is trash. I'm like, Alashi, I'm not saying this as, you know, being harsh or mean or anything like that. It's facts. Like, this, this is how things work in the real world. And, and I think game makers have had this toxic positivity in their situation for so long, they forgot how fucking real life works. Like, they really have forgotten. And, and the problem is that any time a game company, the executives and the staff as well, forget how real life works, they decide to put that cost onto us, Alashi. Because of Hyena's $100 million failure, we almost lost Total War Warhammer 3 and the Total War series as a whole. We would never have gotten one of those games ever if Warhammer 3 did not have that massive turnaround, okay? So, because at that point it becomes a throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? And, 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 and the, that's the problem. Triage is incredibly important. If you are, God forbid, having cancer, 
this is actually a big issue nowadays because if you're, if you're God forbid having cancer and you are faced with the decision of cutting out the cancer, you cut out the fucking cancer. And in this situation, when you buy a studio for $50 million and they've had $2 million, $200 million worth of failure and you spend another $200 million to increase that failure, that entire thing is a cancer. Like, that's what it is. Uh, when you don't want to put yourself in the shoes of these heroes, this design issue. Yeah, exactly. It's a complete design issue. Yeah, everyone on the design team deserves to be fired. Absolutely. Everyone on the game balance team deserves to be fired. Everyone on the on the team that stated that this game is not dog shit in any way, shape, or form, whether they're required to or not, deserves to be fired. Because if you're not willing to stand on business, you don't belong in the fucking industry. And the reason that we have such dog shit games now and such toxic positive environments is straight up because of this reason. Yeah, exactly. You make a fat guy? Yeah, exactly. That character's can be made. Dude, Roadhog. Yeah, Roadhog is a character who's fat. The thing is, is that he has a unique experience to his character. I like playing Roadhog. He's one of my favorite characters in Overwatch. Also, and most important, not every character looks like Roadhog. But anyways, that's the difference with nuance and design. Look how nuanced the design is in League of Legends. Look how nuanced the design is in Overwatch. You have the fat, ugly character, Roadhog. That's his entire point. He's like in a trash compactor. He's like not no, no, no. he's like a trash guy, right? He's like a he's a big old trash man. And in the meantime, you have other characters that balance it out by being super hot, by being small, lithe, beautiful interesting vibrant big strong guys small weak guys little twink guys you know you, you have got the entire gamut of character archetypes why because that is good design in concord let's look at the concord character design again let me see all concord characters let's see let's see the uh Let's zoom in on this picture. Do 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 do. Shit design. This one is okay, but still, colors are the issue here. Not completely a shit design. Completely a shit design. Literally one of the worst designs I've ever seen in my fucking life. Shit design. There's I would not buy a single skin for this character relatively shit design. I would say like 90% of the design is shit. Man, I don't know. This one's okay. It's like it's like a 60% shit. 60% shit. So far, one of the better ones so far, right? Completely utter fucking dog. Fucking dog level design. This design is okay. And only okay. Yeah, this is Drax from Wish. When Drax from Wish is one of the best designed characters in the entire game, you got a problem. You got an absolute problem absolute dog shit design the colors make no sense there's nothing interesting about this character what the fuck is this mushroom hat like why would i buy a skin for this character dog shit design complete dog shit design this is the best character in the game design wise she's an old lady she's got some snap the colors make sense she has a cool robot arm um she's got a smirk she, she's pretty cool she has a good design shit design the only cool thing about her is robot legs. That's part of her identity. That's the only thing cool about her. There's nothing else. Why, what the fuck is this there? None of her abilities are a scope or anything like that. Why the fuck does he have, a, she, she have goggles on her head? Literally the other worst design character I've seen in maybe an entire like two years of all games. What is this guy? He's fucking wearing hockey pads. Why the fuck is he wearing? Why does he have one pauldron? This character makes no sense. He's just random soldier number five. He's not even interesting. And a box head. Yeah, we got box boy. We got fucking box boy. Why do we have box boy here? It makes no sense. We got a robot with a vacuum. He looks like a block. He's not interesting in any way. He literally worse than R2-D2 in every fucking way. And that is every character, guys. This is every character. 
This is it. This is all the characters. What the fuck? This is a level of fuck uppery that every person involved. Where's Lennox? Lennox is um Lennox is right here. Even he sucks. Even he fucking sucks. Like, I would not buy a single skin for Lennox. He looks like he's wearing a fucking, like, uh, a swimming vest. A, a, a life-saving swimming vest. Why is he wearing a life-saving swimming vest? What the fuck is he wearing orange for on, like, light green? I can't, I can't tell it apart. Like, what the fuck is this shit? You want clear lines, clear colors, good design, and being able to figure out what kind of skin you would buy on this character. Because remember, guys, this is a live service game. That color scheme, yeah, exactly. Why does his skin, like, look like his vomit? His skin is fucking vomit, man. He looks like a lizard. Fuck that guy. All these characters are dog shit. Everyone in this entire game company that decided to make any of these characters is fucking dog shit. And they deserve to not work in the games industry ever again. It is harsh, but it is the reality. And I'm sorry. I will tell you how it is. This is going to get me a lot of hate. I don't give a fuck. What I give a fuck about is getting a good game. Not having another fucking Concord that costs $400 million when we could get all kinds of these other games. Look at, the, look at this guy. Bloodborne fans hearing that Concord costs $400 million and Days Gone and Horizon Zero Dawn are both getting remastered when they both don't need remasters. What the fuck is Sony thinking? This is a problem at every level of Sony executive staff. Every single one of them needs to be fired. And you know, echoing what my dad said, why should we fire every single executive staff of Sony? Why? Because I can't fucking cool, I can't fucking shoot them. That's why. It's, we're in America, we have laws against that. So in lieu of doing that, we fire them. So we don't get dog shit. <laughs> Because at some point, if Sony stays on this path and they become unviable to the point that they have to declare bankruptcy, guess what? That's a loss for gaming as a whole. And Sony has had mass vels. I will make fun of them all the live long day. I will tell you how it is. But do I want to see Sony fail? No, I don't want Sony to fail. Because Sony can still make good single player games. They've done it. They do it on the regular. And anytime Sony is a viable game company, we can have competition with other game companies. And, you know, rising tide raises all ships. I want there to be just good fucking games. And as a result, I want all the bad executives to be fucking fired. So we can get good fucking games. Because every time we have bad executives, we have this poor guy wanting to blow his own brains out because he doesn't have any fucking good games anymore. And all he can rely on are the, the good indie games that are literally saving the games industry. Sony's releasing dog shit left, right, and sideways. Xbox is firing good game makers left, right, and sideways. And, you know, they had two years where they didn't release a single fucking good game. Nintendo is declaring war on an indie game maker for hundreds of millions of dollars using patents that are designed to break the game industry in a negative way wide open. Why are they allowed to do this? Because they don't have any fucking competition. Fuck Sony for putting us in this position. This is definitely a huge issue. That's why I'm so fucking angry. Fuck all of these people. AAA gaming is in its worst state ever fucking made. We have never been in a worse state of AAA gaming. We've never had a situation where every single major AAA game company has a major issue that is destroying gaming in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, indies are goaded. It is only indies, though, Co Coconut Boss. That is a huge problem. And thank God for indies. Love indies. I love showcasing indies. I will showcase indies on my channel, even when they make my channel do worse. Why? Because I care about good fucking games. That's why. That is why I put up a fucking video on YouTube for an indie game that that is like no one's fucking heard of. Why? Because this looks like a good fucking game. 
That is why I've covered so many indie games on this channel to the tune of like some of them, like dude, Gamescom trailers, a lot of them indie so, uh, games. We're gonna... Sorry, uh, 24 fucking views. It doesn't do well on this channel. No one wants to see that shit. I cover it because I fucking care about this shit. I wish people would watch indie games. People should watch indie games. But instead, we have Sony fucking shit eaters gaslighting everyone saying, No, Concord deserved better. That Concord didn't deserve better. It deserved to be put in a trash can years ago. How the fuck did Concord devs not get fired seven fucking years ago? Why were they allowed to make this fucking game waste hundreds of millions of dollars when we could have gotten fucking Bloodborne Remake? They can suck my left nut. I don't give a fuck about any of them. Throw them all out. Fuck them all. Straight up. <laughs> I've, I've had an update here with the Sony fucking shit eaters that, that talk about how they're going to willingly pay the cash grab price of 800 fucking dollars for a PlayStation 5 Pro. And they revel in it. L let's look. Let's, let's see some shit eaters. You, want, you don't believe me, guys? If you're watching this video, you're like, man, Corey, you're off, you're off your rocker. You don't believe me? Let's look it up. Let's look it up right now. I will show you why AAA gaming is in the state it's in. <clears throat> because you have shit eater after shit eater after shit eater talking about the PlayStation 5 Pro, how they're taking out loans to buy the PlayStation 5 Pro, how they're making fun of everyone who is hating on the price of PlayStation 5 poor, Pro, calling them pores, this and that. This is why. How can he be angry? Exactly. How can I not be angry? I have talked to shit eater after shit eater after shit eater after shit eater. Over and over and over again. Look at this guy gaslighting himself into thinking that this is somehow worth $750 at best. Actually, $800. Let's call it spade a spade. $800 fucking dollars. Whoa! You can see the fibers here. Who gives a fuck? Can't tell the difference. Yeah, normal people can't tell the difference. And beyond that, is this worth $800? No. You know why? Because this is Sony literally gaslighting people so they can recoup their losses after wasting 400 fucking million dollars on Concord. Why do you think they price the game system at this price? Because they're milking you for fucking money. They realize that they need to make money real fucking fast. So they released the PS5 Pro information. They decided to take out the disk drive. They decided to take out the stand. $35 stand. Why do they take that out? Why? Because they're not a customer facing company anymore. They don't give a fuck about the customers. All they care about is recouping their losses on their $400, $400 million gamble of Concord. That is it. All of these things are related. Every one of them. And while I am livid, I am not wrong. Every single one of the people defending that is why. This is exactly why. People saying we're so back after a single good thing happens in PlayStation. No, you're not fucking back. Are you fucking idiotic? Astrobot was a W. Yeah. Hire more people to make Astrobot. Don't call we're so fucking back. You should be lamenting that Astrobot is the only fucking good single player PlayStation game that has come out this fucking year. What other good single-player PlayStation game has come out this year? Suck my right nut. The fact that Astrobot is the only good fucking game pisses me off. Why don't we have 10 Astrobots? We could have had 10 Astrobots instead of a single fucking Concord. We should have more Astrobots. We have Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, Killzone. We have like infinite number of PlayStation properties that are literally in Astrobot. Parappa the Rapper, like all these are references in Astrobot, reminding the world what we've lost. We should be pissed. We should be up in fucking arms. We should be taking our chairs and throwing it at Jim Ryan, being like, what the 
fuck is wrong with you? Going to Sony executives and being like, bitch, sit the fuck down, get the fuck out of the way, and let good game makers make good fucking games. Get the fuck out of our way. We want good fucking games. Dark Tide is a very good game? No, it's not a fucking good game. It's a dog shit game that was in a broken state for over a year. It suddenly became better, sure. But a game that's a failure for over a year is in no way a good game. They gaslit the community saying, we're changing, we're changing, we, we're fixing this, we're fixing this. They didn't fix shit for over a year. How do I know? I bought it at launch. I played it every fucking month just because I wanted it to be good. I love the world of Warhammer. I love Vermintide. Vermintide 2 is a step forward as a, as a, as a predecessor game in every single way to Darktide, even now. Even now. There's not a single thing better in, in, in Warhammer Darktide than was in Vermintide 2. Not a single fucking thing. Some things are equal because they copied the same shit. And, and good for them. They should have copied everything. They should have made Dark Tide a Vermintide 2 clone that was set in 40k. It would have been a perfect game. We would have bought it. We would have loved it. Instead, the only thing that was working for an entire fucking year was the cash shop. Why? Because that's all they cared about. All they cared about was you spending money, Tinky Winky. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at fucking Fat Shark. Fat Shark can take a fat shit. I don't give a fuck about them. I will never buy a fucking Fat Shark game as long as I live. They I, their, their trust is gone. They can suck my right nut. I, fuck them. Straight up, fuck them. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm absolutely 100% serious. For everyone who looks like Dark Tide, it's a completely different game. If you think it looks like Dark Tide, Tinky Winky, with respect, with love, please watch the Forever Winter video. Because the game is like an extraction game. It's like a horror adventure game. It is completely different. It is a completely different game. Absolutely. Actually, it's not even the right video. That's like that's not that's not the gameplay video. Let me find the gameplay video. Here you go. Here's the gameplay video for an actually good looking game. It's gonna be an alpha. It's gonna be a broken game. Because it's an alpha. But it, it forever extraction, not shooter. It's an extraction shooter game. It's an extraction shooter game. The, the second video shows gameplay. I can I can tell you it's an extraction shooter. Absolutely. It's a third person extraction shooter. 100%. Regardless though, before I get away from it, the level of shit eating in the games community now is why fucking CD Projekt Red is hailed up as a savior for having a broken fucking game for Cyberpunk 2077 for the span of two fucking years before they got their shit together and fixed it. Now, thank God they put their money where their mouth is, spent tens and hundreds of millions of dollars to fix it, and they fixed it. Good for them. I'm very happy for that. However, that does not erase their utter failure for over two years. The fact that they did that speaks volumes. How the fuck dare they? How dare they release a game with zero QA? How dare they outsource to a QA company instead of having their own QA staff for their biggest fucking launch ever? Sons of bitches, whoever made that decision needs to be fucking fired. I want to see a head roll because the next CD Projekt Red game of Witcher 4, I don't want to release in the same state. Exactly. Still meme about it? Yeah. But instead, Coconut Boss, we're in a gaming world where in today's gaming landscape, if you don't toe the line and hold up CD Projekt Red as a good game company because they fixed the game after two fucking years, if you say the two fucking years part, you get a whole bunch of CD Projekt Red fans yelling at you, Ah, McCoy, it's fixed now. It took two fucking years. Why the fuck did it take so long? Why did it release in a broken state? You know why? Because they all fucking suck. That's why. They decided to release a broken fucking game so they could get it out to market and they could make a quick cash grab. And then when they realized how wrong the situation is, they decided to fix it afterwards. If someone shits the bed, I, I'll clean up the shit, but I'll still realize that they shit the bed. How did they get the best 
uh, best ongoing game company award. Sorry, best ongoing game award at, at the game awards. That well, let, let's read out the exact uh, uh, thing. They got an award for fixing their broken fucking game. Um, what is it? CD Project Red Award Games Award 2023. I was losing my shit when this was announced. Yeah, best ongoing game. I was right. They got best ongoing game. Like, the game wasn't dog shit for two years. How? You know why? Because this is a problem at the game company's core. And I'm sorry, game company. The gaming world's core. Toxic positivity. You can't say that the game company is fucking dog shit for releasing a, a broken game for two years. You have to all of a sudden praise them for fixing their own fucking failure. Two years late. All of a sudden... I am given shit for pointing out that thousands of PC players could not play Dragon's Dog Shit 2 because it was rushed out to market to hit quarterlies. And all of a sudden, six months later, finally we're getting play, uh, for uh, uh, P PC optimization to make the game in a playable state for thousands of players. They can suck my asshole. Every single defender of Capcom can suck my fucking asshole. Don't gaslight me into telling me that the game is somehow good. Suck my fucking dick. It's worse than Dragon's Dogma 1, The Dark Arisen in every fucking way. It has less games, sorry, less uh, creatures to kill, less variety, less skills, less this, less that, less good narrative, less exploration. Fucking dog shit game. Don't try to act like it's a good game. Suck my right nut. If it's a step backwards in every way, fuck off. It's a bad game. Not to you guys. You know, to, to the shit eaters online. I've been arguing with a lot of shit eaters recently. And I've had it up to here with them. I'm ready for my PS5 Pro. You're a, you're part of the problem. I'm sorry. You're part of the problem. I don't know why everyone's ragging on the PS5 Pro so hard. Do you know why? He's just in my crosshairs. It's because this is a fucking cash grab from Sony who does not respect you in any way, shape, or form. You are being milked for a $400 million failure. I said dollar twice. Of Concord. Congratulations. Fucking suck my right nut. Now, does this person deserve... I, I didn't call them a shade eater. I'm saying it verbally. This guy is a fucking shade eater. An absolute fucking shade eater. He's been given a bowl of shit by Sony, and he's eating it, acting like it's fucking chocolate. Oh my god, this chocolate mousse is so good. Oh, it tastes just like the pudding my mom used to make. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You're eating a bowl of shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Have some goddamn shame. Fucking asshole. God damn it. I'm ready for the PS5 Pro. You're part of the problem. You're a fucking shade eater. Moving on. PS5 Pro is a lie. Based. Based. Can't even type. Oh my god, dude. This is the problem. Vaste. Yeah, exactly. You know what grinds my gears? What if you don't like it? Don't play it? Motherfucker, if no one plays the game, the game dies. Yeah, that's the problem with don't like it, don't play it. If I'm leveling criticism about Dragon Age Veilguard, it's because I want to play the fucking game. And I want it to be good. I've grown up on Bioware. If... Dragon Age Veilguard is a fucking dog shit failure because everyone thinks it's going to be a 9 out of 10 and it ends up being a 6. And we're not, you know, we're not having our idea aligned with the actual, you know, uh, the goodness of the game. Guess what? That's going to kill the game faster than anything. And if that game fails, Bioware is dead. We never get a Baldur's Gate 1. We never get a Baldur's Gate 2. We never get you know, uh, uh, Neverwinter Nights. Any of the other good Bioware games. Fucking St uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. One of the best games ever made. That's Bioware to me. 
And if Bioware dies, that shit is gone. Forever. We never get another one of those. We never even get a bite at the apple. A shot in the dark to get one of those. Mass Effect. Yeah, I never played Mass Effect. But sure, Mass Effect 1 and 2 and 3. Not Andromeda. We never get a Dragon Age Origins. One of the best fucking RPGs ever made. I mean, it's, 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 I'm fucking taking crazy pills, man. Every time I'm on Twitter, I feel like a fucking genius. Why? Because everyone on Twitter is a fucking gaslit shit eater. That's why. I swear to God. Like, I making content has opened my eyes to the level of shit eating I used to do and how everyone does now. Like, I used to be just like this. I hate this because I was the same way like 10 years ago. I was the exact same way. I was part of the problem. I did say certain things correctly. Horse armor from Bethesda is a bad idea. But guess what? The shit eaters of Bethesda was like, nah, it's just horse armor. It doesn't matter. We can buy for $5. I want my horse to look pretty. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You can download a mod for free to do the same thing. What the fuck is wrong with you? Instead, when everyone bought the horse armor, Bethesda's like, wow, horse armor makes a lot of money. Let's make some more horse armor. And all of a sudden, we have DLCs for fucking everything. Imagine a world where we didn't buy the fucking horse armor. We would not be in the state that we're in for gaming. We would not be in the same state. Imagine... Imagine if Diablo 3 was an utter, abject, dog shit failure that it deserved to be from the very beginning. We would not have gotten Diablo fucking immortal. The literal scum, trash bag, worst shit ever made. Arguably, the, the, the LeBron James of shit games. Yeah, when microtransactions evolved into micro, macro transactions. Exactly. To be frank, yeah. If a game needs mods to patch something, then it's a bad fucking game. Exactly, Tinky Winky. And I've played Bethesda games from the very beginning. But the fact that Bethesda relies on mods to fix 90% of their issues, it makes them a fucking dog shit company. An absolute dog shit fucking company. I like Starfield. Okay? I like it despite its faults. But I don't pretend the faults don't exist. And the fact that that they were able to get away with using the same dog shit engine is why the game sucks. Every single problem, pretty much, can be stemmed to having that dog shit game engine. Do you know why they have this do dog shit game engine, guys? Do you know why? It's because we didn't yell at them hard enough when Fallout 76 came out. It's because when Fallout 4 came out, we were gaslit into saying that they were good. Fuck them. Fallout 4 is the worst Fallout game ever made. They can suck my right nut. Every single person who's a defender of Fallout 4 is why 76 came out. And then why we got the same engine for Starfield. And why we'll probably get the same fucking engine for Elder Scrolls 6. It should be an Unreal 5. Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of here, Bethesda. Fucking fix your shit. Used to be one of my favorite game companies. What the fuck is wrong with you? used to be good, used to be developing good things, used to push the fucking boundaries. And now you suck fucking donkey dick. Why? Because we've enabled you to do so. We're part of the problem. I fucking hate Bethesda fans for gaslighting Bethesda into thinking they're still a good game company. They're not. They stopped being a good game company fucking years ago. A good game, a game company would not release Fallout 76. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. Their best product, period, full stop, in the past decade was, guess what? A fucking mobile game. Fallout Shelter is an actually good game. Like, fuck. I wouldn't say everything needs to be on a real fight. Yeah, I was just using that as an example. Yeah, as an example. They could put it in Unity 2024. It would still be a better game than the, uh, than the engine that they use now. Because they use an in-game engine that they have been using for, like, literally the past... Um, uh, I, th I think, was it like 15 years? 
It's like a literal 15-year-old engine where they basically have put every fucking game in from Fallout 4 to 76 that they even used aspects of for Fallout 3, which is broken as shit. And the reason they do it is because they can spawn literally 10,000 apples at the same time. They all roll downhill with their own physics. No one gives a fuck that was spawning 5,000 apples. Who the fuck cares about these 5,000 apples falling from the top of a pyramid and they all go different ways? I don't give a fuck. I want the game to run well. I want shooting to be good. I want things to not feel floaty. You know why? Because nothing matters more than gameplay. No one's spawning 5,000 fucking apples to watch them fall down a pyramid, man. Fucking shut the fuck up, Bethesda. Stop using that game engine. It's dog shit. That is why you are limited to having wide open spaces in Starfield acting like you have a thousand planets when they're all fucking empty. Which is like the biggest problem with the game. Why the fuck did they not want a rover in the game? You know why? Because as soon as you add the rover, you realize how empty the fucking world is. It's genius to not have the rover. That's why they insisted not having the fucking rover for years. Not years, a year. Why? Because they know as soon as you get faster travel, you're going to be zooming through that empty space. That's why they don't have fast travel in between points you haven't found yet. Why? Because everything's empty. They're shoving you through the empty stuff as filler. Why? Because they know we're fucking dumb. They know we're fucking dumb. Bethesda Engine Spaghetti Code, I smell Riot Games. Yeah, same with Riot Games. Same with Riot fucking games. Bro. Riot Games used to be synonymous with quality. And the problem is, us calling Riot Games quality was gaslighting them into thinking they didn't have to fix their shit. Why do you think the client has never been fixed? Why? Because we keep buying their fucking skins. Their $500 Ari skins. Why do they keep increasing the prices of skins, adding more GOM in the game? Because people still keep playing their fucking game. I'm part of the problem. I'm addicted to fucking League of Legends. I love playing fucking League of Legends. If I stopped playing League of Legends, everyone stopped playing League of Legends. Guess what? They wouldn't fucking make games like that anymore. They wouldn't fucking be selling $500 skins. Everyone should have stopped playing League of Legends when that $500 RE skin came out. More people should have made videos about it. More people should have, like, sent emails to Riot Games like I did. I sent three emails to Riot Support saying, What the fuck are you doing? I used to be a fucking Riot Games backchester. But now, I want to shove my nuts in your face and tell you to suck it. Because you're already sexually assaulting us. Fucking assholes. We let them skate by with sexual harassment lawsuits, not dealing with them the same way we dealt with Bethesda. What happened when Bethesda came out with the sexual harassment lawsuits? Well, actually, when other people came out with these sexual harassment lawsuits towards, uh, uh, not Bethesda, I, sorry, Blizzard. I said Bethesda, not Bethesda, Blizzard. We all stopped playing Bethesda. Sorry, fuck it, fuck. We all stopped playing Blizzard fucking games. Overwatch died overnight. Like, fucking Diablo 3 was dead in the water. The, the list goes on and on. World of Warcraft numbers dip, dive, duck, dodged, and, and gone in the dumpster. And everyone started playing F14. And guess what? Blizzard had the fear of God in their eyes. Bobby Coctic himself came out and he's like, Ah, we gotta fix this situation. You know why? Because money fucking talks. And bullshit walks. And all we have in the games world these days is bullshit. That's all we got. We got fucking toxic positivity. We got fucking Blizzard defenders coming out of the woodwork saying that, yeah, it doesn't matter that I pay another $40 to get a four-day early access. It's fine. The game is good. Fuck off. They're going to make it $50 next time. You know why? Because you all were shit eaters. And then anyone who couldn't afford the $40 or who didn't buy the $40 to play the war within four days early, they were called pores. You guys made raids of PvP to hunt people down in war mode when you're level 80 and everyone else is level 70. Just to call them pores. They called them hunt the poor groups. Fucking assholes. Y'all shit eating and you're making a joke out of it. Suck my dick. Worst fucking game group ever. Blizzard players. Straight up the worst. Fucking World of Warcraft full of shit eaters, man. 
I love the game. I hate the community. They can suck my asshole. Fucking assholes. I'm going to put this whole unedited rant on YouTube. Thesis against toxic positivity in gaming. I don't know. I'll come up with a catchy name. I am not going to cut out a single fucking curse word out of this video. It's going to get dog shit algorithm. Do you know why? Because they can suck my asshole. I don't give a fuck about YouTube. If they don't like my video, I don't care. I'm still putting the entire thing up there. <clears throat> People accused Jeremy Souls, the guy who did the Elder Scrolls music of sexual assault, and there was a literal no shit to back it up, but it kept the people that actually did the same shit Jeremy was accused of. Wait, Bethesda had that issue as well? I didn't know about that. Yeah, if they did, fuck them. Yeah, they deserve they deserve the ire they get for that. I I, I didn't know. Gonna, gonna get shadow banned? They can suck my fucking asshole. If I get shadow banned, this community should rise up and watch the videos. Nothing will defeat actual views. They can't pretend the views don't exist, Coconut Boss. If I get shadow banned, watch the videos. That will defeat a shadow ban. Our community is stronger than any fucking shadow ban. I have... I have 7,613 followers. Remember Iron Mouse's channel was terminated? Yeah, you know why? Because YouTube is fucking dog shit. They're a monopoly... Every fucking monopoly is dog shit. YouTube should not exist in the state it is. I'm making YouTube videos and I'll say that. Absolutely. Fuck them for doing that. Dude. I'm running in the same problem. Okay? If you search Cap Corgi uh, right now. Cap Corgi TV. Let's go to YouTube right now. I'll show you, I'll show you the problem. <clears throat> My videos are now starting to come up again, but you scroll down one screen and this piece of shit, little dick motherfucker literally stole my VODs and put them up in a fake channel. It's not even the right name. It's all the same description made by AI. It's all the same title made by AI. It's all the same thumbnail made by AI. The easiest, fakest shit ever. And it's still on YouTube? Are you fucking kidding me? We've had hundreds of people report it. I've reported it like fucking 50 times. How the fuck is YouTube so goddamn dog shit that this guy is one fucking subscriber, maybe himself, and he's still allowed to have his fucking channel? Motherfucker, YouTube is a trash website. It's one of the worst websites ever made because this shit can exist. And for me to be able to get rid of the website... Uh, the, 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 this motherfucker, I have to give my real personal information so he can steal more? Fucking suck my asshole, YouTube. Do your fucking job. Respond to one of my tickets. I put in literally 20 support tickets about this one fucking issue. You can't give me a response? Do you think I'm fucking idiotic? I know you don't give a fuck about me, but thank you for confirming it, YouTube. Sucking fucking motherfucker. Holy shit. You know what? Congress should break up monopolies. They should go to Google and split it up into five different companies. Google doesn't deserve this. Google, it, Google it owns fucking YouTube. All these problems stem from what? The fact that YouTube has no fucking competitors. That's what it stems from. From the fact that Google has no fucking competitors. That's what it stems from. That's why they can come out with a, a fucking laptop that has nothing but AI. That has a fucking... AI unit that you can't turn fucking off and it fucking records everything you do on the computer. That's our future, guys. And we can't do anything about it. Why? Because Microsoft, Google, and YouTube, all of these are fucking monopolies. These big tech monopolies are absolute fucking bullshit. And all the shit eaters who buy all their fucking products and nothing but their products and never even, you know, cover any information or anything about any other products, they're part of the problem. The Apple shit eaters who buy every fucking new iPhone as soon as it comes out because they know forced obsolescence is imprinted into their fucking older iPhones and their iPhones are on a, a clock to die in two years. 
And they're okay with it. They keep buying the fucking iPhones. Shit eaters. Every fucking one of them. Every fucking one of them is a shit eater. Shit eater over here. Shit eater over there. Fucking shit eaters. Fucking motherfuckers. God damn it. So you believe this? You're an idiot? If you don't believe this, <clears throat> you're a fucking non... You're a fucking math-failing shit eater. This guy I'll call a shit eater. If he's trying to call someone an idiot for not understanding basic math, at that point, all semblance of like good nature goes out the window. You're a fucking shit eater. I'm going to call you a shit eater. I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. I'm not sorry at all. I wish I was sorry. Don't be a shit eater. I won't call you a shit eater. It's that simple. Also, Twitch, I have a serious question for you. Are you an adult site or not? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, you know what, you know what the problem is, Coconut Boss? You know what the problem is? Twitch does not want to put their money where the mouth is. They're trying to ride the line. And when you try to ride the line, no one is fucking happy. What they're trying to do is make their OnlyFans money. Because they know that the fucking simps who watch all those bitches that should just show off their tits and nothing else. I'm not talking about the people that also happen to have a fansly link or whatever. I don't care about that. I'm talking about the people just straight up doing porn on the website. Twitch won't ban them because it, they're fucking shit eaters too. Twitch is making money hand over fist. They're doing it on purpose. Fucking shit eaters. Holy fuck. At least Twitch isn't the same as Kick. True. But the fact that we are holding them to such a low bar is really sad. Like, yeah, kick is worse. Absolutely. But guess what? If we are not loud as shit about every fucking issue, we will become kick. That's the thing. Twitch is this close to becoming kick. The only reason we are not kick yet is because we're fucking loud. Every time that Twitch does some bullshit. That's why. That is why. What happened when they raised the sub prices, guys? What happened? I will tell you. Every large content creator started to say, don't give me subs, give me bits. Don't give me subs, give me, uh, sign up for my Patreon. So I can make, you know, content via there and, and, and you know, not have to pay the, the fucking exorbitant tax that Twitch has on subs. That's what, that's what they did. That's what they did. And guess what? It fucking worked. Guess what? It fucking worked. Twitch is making less money now because they increased the sub prices. Good fucking job, Twitch. Did you learn your lesson? They did. They're, they're going to think twice next time. That's what's going to happen. Today I'm closer to a VTuber. I uh, use a PNG. I will work on the actual model I make myself. These big streamers are like mostly VTubers. They need to follow 10k extra rules that don't apply to their golden children. Yeah, absolutely. Twitch dealing with VTubers unevenly compared to normal, you know, I hate to use the term flesh tuber. It sounds disgusting. But flesh tubers, and, and for lack of a better term, you know, non-VTubers, it's fucking dog shit. You either treat them equally or you don't. It's that simple. And guess what? And guess what, guys? Coconut Boss. Now that we have made such an issue about VTubers being treated unequally, guess what happened, guys? Guess what happened? Some good fucking news. Twitch has now announced as of nine hours ago that they're going to enhance the transparency of why you got a ban. They're going to show you the clip of what the fuck got you reported. They're going to tell you exactly what happened. We had to yell at them for fucking years to make this happen. Years. Every single time a VTuber is banned for something that they... I mean, it was just fucking bullshit. Is it because of the shadow situation? I don't know the shadow situation. I just know that this is... Be be I think this is because of combined, sheer, unified outcry... 
every fucking time a VTuber is banned for fucking nothing. Or non-VTubers well, but it happens to VTubers more. You know it, I know it, everyone fucking knows it. Absolutely. I don't know the shadow situation. And roll over welcome, my friend. I'm having an inspired level rant. Easily, easily like top five rants I've ever had in this channel. Literally one of my best rants ever. I can barely catch a breath. I'm on fire right now. Literally on fire. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna save this VOD forever. I'm gonna watch this VOD and fucking wank myself off. This rant is so good. This rant is so fucking good. I have never been ranting so well in my entire life. Actually, that's not true. That's not true. One time I had a rant where I quit my job, working for the NCI. I yelled at my boss and quit my fucking job. I didn't call him a shit eater, but that was probably the only way I could have made that rant better. I made him feel like a shit eater because you know what? He was a fucking shit eater. That's why. He could suck my fucking asshole. Best day of my life quitting that fucking job. Best fucking day of my life. I should have done it years ago. Years ago. I wasted 10 fucking years working for the NCI. Fucking shit eater I was. 10 years. I gaslit myself into thinking I could make a difference. I couldn't make a difference. NCI was rotten from the core. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. For almost five years I've known you. Passionate? I've always been uh, passionate. Is NCI along the eyes of NCIS? No. NCI is the National Cancer Institute. I did cancer research for 10 years. Everyone there is a shit eater. <laughs> Roll over. Hope you're having a lovely night. Welcome. Guys, fired up is what I meant. Yeah, loud. This is the loudest I've ever been in five years for sure. You know why? Because I've been dealing with shit eaters all fucking day. All fucking day. All fucking week. Since, since the PS5 Pro was announced, I have dealt with shit eaters on a different level. A truly different level. I have never gotten to the point where I say, you know what? All PlayStation fucking owners, they kind of deserve what they get. I've never been to that point until now. Only now have we gotten to that point. Before then, I was like, you know, Sony's the problem. No, they're not the fucking problem anymore. They're the fucking symptom. The problem is the Sony shit eaters who buy this every fucking time. That's the problem. That's the literal problem. I'm sorry. If you buy a PS5 Pro, you're a fucking shit eater on some level. Even if you feel that it's worth the cost or whatever, I'm sorry. You are being an unabashed shit eater. Now, you may feel like it's worth it. That's fine. You have rationalized yourself into being a shit eater. You may feel like this is your one form of happiness. That's fine. You have gaslit yourself into being a shit eater. That's fine. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not blaming you for it. Every single thing in the games community is trying to make you a shit eater. So a lot of people will become a shit eater. I don't even blame you for being a shit eater. I'm just stating you're a shit eater. That's it. I'm not saying you're a bad person. I'm just giving you the fact that you're a shit eater. That's it. That is it. You don't like to hear it. Don't be a shit eater. I'm sorry. It's, it's fucking that. Worked for the Australian government during uh, COVID, doing PSAs. Their measures got scary bad. People actively voted for it. They want to eat shit. Let them. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> How's throat is doing? Dude, my throat was dead when I was playing the game. My throat, like, basically reached another octave of, like, power. I have unlocked a new level of power in my voice to be able to call shit eaters out tonight. It is, it is like on a different level. Like, holy fuck. I have, I have pulled power from the literal sky into my throat to be able to preach to the Lord how people are shit eaters today. I leveled up. Yeah. A different level. People can have their opinion. Doesn't mean you won't call them out on it. Yeah. People can have their opinion. They can do what they want. And I will, will absolutely call them shit eaters for it. Dude. My gloves are off, figuratively. I still need to wear this. <laughs> I will call out every shit eater for what they are now. I'm sorry. It's done. I have, I'm, I'm done. I'm so fucking done not telling shit eaters that they're shit eaters. Pretending that they're somehow not shit eaters. I'm sorry. If you're a shit eater, I'm going to call you a shit eater. 
If you're acting like a shit eater in stream, I'm going to say, you know, so-and-so, I love you. Don't take this the wrong way. You're being a shit eater. Don't eat shit. Please. Please don't eat shit. I don't want you to eat shit. It's not good for you. It's really bad for you. Don't eat the shit. I'm sorry. Just don't do it. Just don't eat the shit, man. Turn this entire uh, last minute into a soundbite. Make it a clip, Tinky Winky. That'll help me. I'll, I'll, if you make this a clip, I'll put it on Twitter. If you make this a clip, I'll put it on uh, YouTube Shorts. 100%. Make these clips. Absolutely. My last console was a PS3. It was useful as a Blu-ray Blu 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 player. Cheaper than standalone Blu-ray player. Still have it and use it as my Blu-ray. Yeah, you know why, Smeg? Because that's when Sony gave a shit. That's when the community weren't fucking shit eaters. So when Sony did th good things, they praised them. When Sony did bad things, they weren't fucking eating shit. Sony had to focus on doing good shit. That's why. They felt like actual pressure from Xbox and Nintendo. They no longer feel that. They don't give a fuck. That's the thing. That's the thing. They were, they were less shit eaters back then. Less shit eaters. Uh, you, you know what's funny, Tori Wave? I've used the term shit eater so much in my general vernacular over the past 10 years since I moved down to Florida. I used to use it all the time, but my dad didn't used to hear it all the time. To the point that my dad unironically calls things shit eaters now. He will honestly call someone a shit eater now. Like, just as a normal thing. Like, he, he will use it now. <laughs> I have gaslit him into thinking it's a normal term. As opposed to something only I fucking say. My dad has literally called someone a shit eater before. It happened like two weeks ago. It was the funniest fucking thing. Oh my god. I was crying. I started, I started crying. I was laughing so hard. I was like, Dad, did you just call this guy a shit eater? He's like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what do you mean? He's like, dude, if they don't want to be a shit eater, they should be a shit eater. And I'm like, oh my god. I made my dad call someone a shit eater. This is the best day ever. And it, 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 it like, unironically was. Like, I'm so happy I've, I've, like, you know, convinced him that shit eating is a, is a normal term. Good. Good. The more people that are called, you know why? No one wants to be called a shit eater, guys. No one wants to be called shit eating. Like, sh being called a shit eater is such a fucking, like, visceral term. That when you're called a shit eater, you feel bad. You feel shame. And I think we need more shame in today's society. This is just another form of giving people some of the shame that they desperately need in their lives. Because if they felt more shame, they wouldn't be fucking shit eaters. That's the thing. They would be less shit eaters in the entire world. We'd have less fucking Assassin's Creed Shadows. Where, where's my original tab set? Is it this? <clears throat> no. It's another shit eater. Big Fry TV. One of the biggest fucking FPS shit eaters there is. Dude, we have such fucking shit eaters in the Star Wars world that people are unironically trying to tell me these two faces look the same. What the fuck, man? Don't insult my intelligence. Don't tell me that this beautiful face is the same as this dog shit face. Do you think I'm... A, do I look like a shit eater to you? Fuck off. Completely different faces. Fucking Ubisoft made this beautiful face into this fucking mudded up amalgamation of shit. They put it through a filter. They basically took the ugly rod and whacked it like 50 fucking times. And then they're like, yeah, this looks the same. No, it fucking doesn't. Suck my asshole. It doesn't look anything the same. What the fuck is wrong with you? Fucking Ubisoft. Biggest fucking shit eating game company there is. They're gonna die as a game company soon and they deserve it. They deserve to fucking die in a fucking fire as a game company. Fucking shit eaters. An entire fucking game company of shit eaters. Rainbow Six Siege? Yeah, dude. 
Rainbow Six Siege has every single version of monetization possible in that one game. Everyone who plays Rainbow Six Siege right now is a shit eater. Every single person. Because it's had every single monetization to the point that they got fucking booed on stage for the shit that they did. But people are still playing the game. Why? Because they're fucking shit eaters. That's why. They literally cannot stop eating the shit. Why do you think I play less League nowadays? Because I'm realizing I'm being a shit eater by playing League of Legends. I should stop playing League of Legends because then I'll be less of a shit eater. <clears throat> don't need that tab anymore. You don't want to anger the cloud of your judgment? Yeah. And, and look, guys, I'm very clear-headed. I can easily tell myself to not do something. So, like, I could watch the trailer and be fine with it. But, A, I like this rant, so I don't want it to end. And, B, I'd rather, you know, not tempt fate and just watch it when I'm fully clear-headed and, you know, I'm not in a roll calling people shit eaters because I, I always want to give it to you guys straight I, I will never ever fucking lie to you even even when it would make me more money to do so if guys if I was a shit eater my channel would be monetized on YouTube I would have at least 2,000 subscribers on YouTube with the exact same number of videos that I made because every single time I make a video going against the grain, it's a failure of a video. But guess what? Those are the videos that I did the best on. That I gave you the most information on. That I'm the most fucking authentic on. And that's why my channel is not monetized yet. Straight up. That's how you know I'm not a shit eater. <laughs> I found my tabs, by the way. Sad truth? Yeah. Guys, if you like, if you if you think that's a sad truth, please watch the videos. Leave a comment. It means now more than ever. It really does. Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart. <clears throat> Absolutely. Put the videos on in the background. I have them in playlists for your ease of use. Just slap it up in the background. Can you change your thumbnails to have outrageously large breasted women? Maybe that I should. Maybe I should. Some people do that. <clears throat> a vased emo? What would the vased emo be? <laughs> I have no idea. I feel like if I go to my artists who make my thumbnails roll over and I say, can you start putting big boobed women all over my video thumbnails? They'll probably get a little angry at me. <laughs> but yes. To cap it all off, guys, I am sick and fucking tired of shit eaters. And I will call out every shit eater for the shit eating that they do. If you're a Sony shit eater, I'm going to call you a Sony shit eater. If you're an Xbox shit eater, I'm going to call you a shit eater. If you're a shit eater for Nintendo, defending Nintendo when they're literally trying to sue an indie game company, you're a fucking shit eater. If you're a shit eater for Microsoft, you're a shit eater. If you're pretending that Phil uh, Spencer can do no wrong, even though he's done plenty of things wrong, you're a shit eater. If you think Blizzard did nothing wrong when they had four days early access for 40 fucking dollars, you're a shit eater. If you think Bethesda did nothing wrong with Starfield, you're a shit eater. If you think they should use their same engine for Elder Scrolls 6 and we should not be worried, you're a shit eater. If you think DEI is not infecting our games and making our games worse because they're focused on the wrong shit, you're a shit eater. Every fucking one of these things is an example of a shit eater. If you're someone who thinks it's not wrong for every fucking streaming website, including your favorites, if you're a Netflix fan, if you're an Amazon Prime fan, whatever the fuck, and you're fine with watching advertisements, because you're forced to now, you've convinced yourself, you've gaslit yourself to being a fucking shit eater. I will call every motherfucker out. I'm sorry. I'm done with this shit. I am done with this shit. Beta testers for extra money. Exactly. Exactly. Amazon serving ads is bullshit. Yes, you know why they do it though? Because the fucking shit eaters keep watching their shit. That's why. Because Amazon is allowed to be a monopoly. You know why? 
because everyone in the government, every fucking congressman, senator, representative is a fucking shit eater because they're being paid to shit eat. They're, they're eating the bowl of shit by getting money from lobbyists and they're doing it. They're doing it, man. You're, you are fucking voting for shit eaters. Stop voting for shit eaters, man. I'm sorry. Shit. I don't go political here. I do it. I don't do it as a point. But if you vote Kamala Harris or fucking Trump, you're a shit eater. You're, you're eating two different flavors of shit. It's still shit. I'm sorry. You're a fucking shit eater. Straight up, man. Absolutely. Two different flavors of shit. That's it. That's what it is. That's what it is. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done playing fucking patty cake, man. I'm telling you how it is. Don't be a shit eater. Don't like to be called a shit eater. You're a fucking shit eater. That's fine. I understand you don't like to be called a shit eater. Stop eating shit. That's it. If you admit that you are voting for someone and it's the lesser of two evils, you're at least admitting that you know it's a bowl of shit and I have slightly more respect for you. If you're doing, I, I gotta do what I gotta do because it's one issue, that's fine. You know you're eating a bowl of shit. I understand. That's different. You're still eating shit, but you know it's shit. At least don't lie to yourself. That's it. At least don't lie to yourself. It's still shit. And you're being a shit eater. Absolutely. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. That's it. If you guys like this, if you guys like the level of shit talking I'm doing tonight, please know all of my rants are good. A lot of them aren't this vulgar. Normally, normally I don't get like so pissed that I just go on a different level like tonight. But I always call a spade a spade. I will always give you the authentic take and I will always fight for you to give you even slightly better. I want gaming to be good again. And I will fight for it. I will make sure I showcase indie games just like I have. To the point that those videos get like 30 fucking views. I don't care. I'll still do it. You know why? Because I'm not a fucking shit eater. That's why. I want good games. I want AAA gaming to be better. I want Ubisoft, EA, Nintendo, Sony, Xbox to all get rid of the shit eaters in their company. So we can finally get some good fucking games from AAA companies again. That would be great. That would be the best fucking day ever. Absolutely. Thank you, Jackal. President 2024, Cap Corgi. I would never run for office. You know why? Because I'm not a fucking shit eater. And if I ran for president, I'd have to be forced to eat shit. Of some flavor. Because if I didn't eat shit, they'd kill me. That's how it works. You know how I know that's how it works? Because that's how it works in my home country. We have like one of the highest death rates for, for anyone who goes for office. Because the honest ones get killed. That's what happens. Made a new clip, Mr. Corgi. Excellent. But yeah, there you go. I will always tell you how it is. If you like this video, do give this video a like. Give it a sub. Stand up for authenticity. Don't be a shit eater and leave a comment, guys. That's how it works. If you don't want to enable shit eaters, raise up good content. It doesn't have to be mine. Raise up other good content. Follow people like Josh Stripe Hayes. Follow people like Luality. Follow, I will tell you who are the good characters. I will tell you who are the good content creators that I trust. Because I am so hateful of shit eaters that I can't even watch shit eaters anymore. I cannot even fucking watch shit eaters anymore. Anyone who shows a shade of shit eating, I just stop watching. Nowadays, I only watch YouTubers like Bellular. Bellular is one of the least shit eating people ever. Fucking uh, um, uh, Luke Stevens Live. One of the least shit-eating people I've ever found on YouTube. Follow those people. Give their videos like subs and everything. That's why I put a source for every React video I ever make. Because I want you guys to have good information. Even if you don't watch from me. Ross of Accursed Farms. Who's trying to fight to save fucking gaming. Begging. Literally begging and pleading. For European shit eaters to get up off their fucking ass and sign a simple fucking petition to maybe save gaming 
from like all these fucking game companies that are erasing games left, right, and sideways. All the power is in these game companies and big game publishers' hands. And they're out of our hands. Stop being a fucking shit eater. Get off your fucking ass and sign that goddamn petition if you're in Europe. What the fuck is wrong with you? Raise up voices that do good and say good things. And hold us to account. We're holding gaming to account. Keep us honest. Keep me honest. If I'm saying something you dislike, tell me. I never erase comments that don't like, you know, cross a line of like racism or whatever. I, I've had to do that a few times. But if you don't do that, I'm not going to erase your comment. Even if you vehemently disagree with me. If you try to convince me that Sony is somehow not in the wrong or something like that, that's fine. I welcome dissent. I welcome discussion. Everyone in my community is allowed to tell me exactly what they think. I have never banned someone for what they think as long as they're not racist or sexist or whatever. That's, that's all I care about. Just don't use a fucking slur. Call me a shit eater. I don't care. Just don't use a slur. That's fine. That's literally it. That's why, like, that's like one of my only rules. Yeah. That's it. Fucking shit eaters everywhere, man. We need less shit eaters in the world. We need more good people. So raise up good voices. And again, give this video a like and a sub. Share it with your friends. I will always tell you how it is, no matter what the fuck the subject is. Every single one of them. I will always be authentic. You know why? Because I care about gaming. I don't make money from YouTube. And I still make 300 videos. Spending money on every thumbnail. Why? Because I give a shit. I don't shit eat. I give shit. That's right. Take care. See you in the next video. People are smarter now to understand these things. Do you think gamers are feeling the effects of it? Everyone's feeling the effects of it. But please know that gamers love games. And we will pay for good games. Do you know how I know this? Because we pay for fucking bad games. And if we pay for bad games, we absolutely pay for good games. 100%. Indie gaming is bigger now than it ever has been. Gaming is the only media that is regularly still growing. Why? Because gamers love good games. We are in, we are hungry for good games. We're desperate for good games. We need that fucking escape from our drudgery of existence, of, of fucking assholes left, right, and sideways, bombarding us with religion and politics and this and that over and over and over again, man. We just want to take our fucking chainsaw and kill some fucking aliens, man. Golly. People bought fucking millions of copies of Space Marine 2 for that reason. The game is a 9 out of 10. Best game of 2024. Straight up, hands down, not even a fucking close call. Not even close. Fucking Black Myth Wukong broke records. Why? Because it's a good game. People are willing to pay $70 for a good fucking game. That respects your time. Doesn't, doesn't shill you microtransactions. Even when it's made by fucking China. It's a good game. I thought Black Myth Wukong... Yeah, Black Myth Wukong was my game of the year until Space Marine 2 came out. It's number two on the list. It's a really good game. It's just a little too linear for me and everything like that. Some some detractions for sure, but nothing wrong with it. It's a very good game. It's very worth $70. It, it's, it's a game that I'm very happy with. For any game of my age, totally fair. That's totally fair, my friend. Totally, totally fair. If, you, if you're not willing to spend $70, buy it on sale. Absolutely. 100% buy it on sale. 100%. Black, uh, Black Myth Wukong is Chinese? Yeah, 100%. It, it was it was given money by the Chinese government. That's why they gave uh, when they gave keys out, they had to uh, beg, plead streamers to like not use the words COVID nineteen or feminist propaganda or you know talk about the Chinese government and shit like that. That's why I covered that entire thing. That's why the developers are erased. Yeah, exactly. They didn't they didn't want the company to be taken over by China and like you know made into an, uh, a a nationalistic company and they would lose everything. They didn't want that to happen. That's why they did it. I covered I covered that. Guys, watch the videos. Trust me. I cover all this shit. I will always give it to you straight. Support good content. 100%. Feminist propaganda? Uh, I'll, I'll show you the video. I'll show you the video. Video was a rant of the ages. It was one of, it was one of, my, one of my other inspired rants. <clears throat> there you go. This video got 110 views. One of the most based rants I've ever done in my life. 
come out free to play and strive through cosmetic sales? Uh, I think that's less and less popular now. That used to be more popular when live service games were better. And now all live service games are just fucking dog shit almost. Almost all of them. We just covered, uh, by the way, this entire rant, Clover Muse, was, by the way, welcome. We haven't seen you forever. I hope you're doing really, really well. Make sure to give the YouTube a sub. Make sure to give some videos a, a view of any subject that you like. We cover all kinds of good gaming, bad gaming news. Whatever needs to be covered, I cover. And I'll always give it to you straight. Um, uh, what was I saying? Um, we just covered for like two hours tonight, um, uh, Concord costing a Sony 400 fucking million dollars. 400 million dollars. The worst game disaster ever made. So far. So far. We can always do better. We can always hit that billion dollar mark of failure. GTA 6 might hit that. Who knows? Who knows, my friend? Absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> but my friends, the time is near. My voice isn't clear. We gotta end before I bend. Ba 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 ba. I gotta go to sleep, guys. Yeah, go rest of my voice exactly. Um, uh, people would call it a disaster. It'd be this generation's water world. Hey, to be fair, Waterworld was Kevin Costner putting tens of millions of his own dollars into his own project. He was based as fuck for doing it. He believed in his own project so much. And I'll tell you one thing. I went back and I watched Waterworld like seven months ago. I've watched it a few times over the years. And I, I've looked upon it more favorably every time. The movie's actually, like, not that bad. It's not, like, a great movie. And it, it was definitely a financial failure. But as a movie, dude, it was actually not a bad movie. Waterworld or Mad Max? Mad Max is better, just in every way. But, like, Waterworld... Waterworld was based as fuck because he put his own money into it like crazy. He, he, he stood on business. Yeah, The Postman was worse. Yeah. The Postman was worse. Yeah. The Postman is unironically a worse movie than Waterworld as well. And Terex, welcome, buddy. Yeah, we were doing all, a lot of discussions tonight. Missed you, buddy. Hope you catch the videos. Uh, had Tom Petty? It did have Tom Petty, yeah. Forever Winter comes out Tuesday? Yeah, we will be playing it day one, James. We'll be playing it day, day one of the channel. Dude, if you've not seen the new trailer, have you seen the new trailer? <clears throat> Here you go, James. Give that video a like. Give it a comment, my friend. Absolutely. Based as shit video. Do you, uh, do you like old PS2 games? I grew up on old PS2 games. I loved it. Oh my god. PS2 games were so fucking good. So fucking good, man. Holy shit. We got original Silent Hill 2. Wait, was that PS2 or PS1? I think it was PS1, actually. Um, we, we got... Um, Hold on. Some of the greatest games of all time on PS2. Best PS2 games. We'll end on that note. San Andreas. Resident Evil 4. Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts 1. Okami. Shadow of the fucking Colossus. Final Fantasy X. Back when Final Fantasy used to fucking mean something. When the Final Fantasy game was coming out, you knew it was about to change the fucking game. Why? Because every fucking Final Fantasy game that came out was like genre fucking breaking. People who don't even play fucking RPGs used to play Final Fantasy because it had the most cutting edge graphics, a story that would tug on your heartstrings, absolutely destroy you inside and out, make you feel shit as a man, as a woman. Holy fuck. Based as fucking shit. God damn. God of War 2. Snake Eater. Metal Gear Solid 2. Metal Gear Solid 2 still has one of the best rants of all time. Hideo Kojima reaching out through the screen, grabbing you by the heartstrings and saying, Motherfucker, listen. Because you are about to run into AI, into war, into the military industrial complex, into robots taking your fucking jobs. All of this shit and more. Telling you to remember what it's like to be a human. Because if you don't, and if you don't fight for it, this is your fucking future. 
It was an entire, like, 20-minute rant at the end of the game. Oh my god, man. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty deserved better than it got. Uh, MGS4? I never played MGS4. I never had a PS3. Or was it PS4? Whatever it was on. I didn't have a PS3 or a PS4. So, yeah, I missed out on that one. <clears throat> I'd like to play it again someday. Yeah, okay, I was right, guys. Silent Hill 2 is PS2, guys. What the fuck? I gaslit myself. Yeah, one of the best horror games ever made. Giving you actual player choice. There's just like seven endings to this game. Why? Because there are hidden game mechanics recording every fucking thing you did. And if you did certain things, you could go all the way from the main character literally fucking committing suicide to having a true happy ending and everything in between. It was insane. In Silent Hill 2, you're not the good guy. Sure, you are not the good guy. Now, you can make yourself be a slightly better guy, but you're not the fucking good guy. <clears throat> what else was on here? SOCOM Navy SEALs, man. Holy fuck. That game was so good, man. Holy shit. Back when Sony used to make good fucking games. SSX Tricky. One of the best fucking genre-changing fucking sports games ever made. Straight up. Back when EA gave a shit. Back before they were shit eaters. They decided to make one of the most fun, intuitive games ever fucking made. If anyone pulls up SSX, uh, SS, SSX Tricky right now, if you give it to a fucking idiot, like an absolute fucking buffoon who can't even spell his own name, he'd be able to figure out how to play SSX Tricky. Why? Because the game is that fucking well made. It's that fucking good. It's that simple, intuitive, in-depth, and fun. Did you ever play Bully? I never played Bully. There's a lot of games I missed. I played a lot of them. Time Splitters 2. A game so good, they couldn't even make a sequel. This game was one of the best fucking first-person shooters ever made better than GoldenEye. Better than fucking GoldenEye. Why? Because with GoldenEye with fucking time travel. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. This game was so good, dude. This game was so good. Yeah, sports games now compared to sports games then. Exactly, Coconut Boss. Sports game then, SSX Tricky. Sports games now, buy our game now, and then fucking buy every season Gamba loot boxes to fill out your team with pay-to-win characters. And then do it again next season. You know why? Because you're a fucking shit eater. That's why. That's why. That's why they do it. Because the shit eaters buy it. They're addicted to gambling. Everyone who's a gambler is a uh, fucking shit eater. Everyone who's addicted to gambling is a shit eater. I'm sorry. You've been gaslit. You've, you've been you're forced to become a, a shit eater. But you're a shit eater. 